Salam, my brothers. How are you? I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing really well. Well, today was the first day I decided to go back to the gym. This is what I did. I woke up at, uh, just a little bit after my morning prayer. I was up at 6 in the morning, did my morning prayers, and I was in the gym by 7 o'clock. Thank God I'm finally starting to feel better. Uh, it just seemed that when I was younger, snowstorm, hail, whatever, fatigue, slept, or, or if I didn't sleep, if I ate, if I didn't eat, I could go to the gym, I could train for an hour, hour and a half every day, no problem. But as you get older, you have to watch your body. You have to be a little bit more sensitive and you have to stay in tune with your body. Many factors can affect your body. And I think I was hitting uh, the gym. I think I was stressing the body a little too hard. I was putting too much stress on it. And I seemed to be hey, catching a cold after cold after cold. This was after losing seven pounds before, if you were following me, seven pounds before Ramadan, I had lost seven pounds. And then Ramadan came, Ramadan, Ramadan puts a lot of stress on the body, then after that I had to go travel to Montreal, uh, different time zones, and then I had to travel back, again, uh, that affects the body, and then I had to go to UK, and then I had to come back, so all the different time zones, all the different weather, plus there's major construction going on right near my compound, and there's a lot of dust in the air, so you're breathing in the dust, so it just seems that a lot of uh, stress, a lot of elements were affecting my uh, activity and my health and everything. But thank God today I'm feeling a lot better. One way of knowing whether your body is recuperating just uh, is when you wake up. If your body wakes up early in the morning, for me, if I wake up around 6, 6.30 in the morning, then I know my body is healed and it's ready to go. But if, I'm, if my body requires more rest, so if I'm getting up at 7, 7.30, sometimes even 8 o'clock, uh, without the alarm clock, I mean, then I know that my body's stressed and I need to rest it a little bit more. When I was younger, like I said, no problem. But as you get older, I know that uh, there's some brothers that are like 50, 60 years old that are watching this channel. So this is for you guys. You have to be more in tune with your body. So pay attention to your body. Stress at work too. Uh, I've been really, really busy at work. This also is affecting uh, my health. So guys, watch your activity level, your stress levels. Uh, your activity, what you're doing, tra uh, travel, time zones, sleeping pattern, this all affects your health. And uh, for the guys that are older, let's say 40 and over, uh, watch it. You might need to pace yourself. One way to help your health, if you find that it's taking a long time for you to recover, if you find that you know, you're know you sore for too long, that means you need to increase your cardiac threshold. By that, I mean you need to start doing a little bit more cardio. Cardio actually helps you recuperate quicker. So, the best thing I recommend, what I was doing is, uh, the last couple of days, maybe three or four days now, I've been walking anytime during the day that I can find time. So make sure you get 30 minutes and just walk. That's it. This just speeds up your, it's not to lose weight or anything like that, but this just increases your cardiac threshold. It makes you uh, a, a little bit more conditioned. Your body starts moving everything around, the blood circulation and everything. Uh, and it helps you recuperate a little quicker and it helps you heal. So if you're coming back from a cold or a, a flu or a virus or something, the best thing you to do is to walk. Walk 30 minutes at a brisk pace. And this will help you uh, heal. This will actually make you healthier. So this is what I've been doing today, this morning. Seven in the morning, I was in the gym, did some weights, did some cardio, I feel great. So this is my, uh, my point was sometimes you need to be in maintenance mode, especially when you're older. Uh, I'm going to be 42, inshallah, God willing, I will be 42 in two weeks. And I'm grateful, I still have my health. So uh, for you guys, you know, just pace yourself sometimes. If you're younger, don't worry about it, just go ahead and train, no problem. Uh, another thing I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start taking tribulus. I've taken it before, it's great. This, what this does is it increases your testosterone naturally. So for you guys that have never tried tribulus, go ahead and try it. I don't really recommend it for the younger guys. Let's say if you're under 30, you don't really need it. Your testosterone levels are already through the roof. Uh, but the guys are older than 33, 34, 35. If you feel your testosterone levels are low, this is a natural supplement. You can buy it anywhere, GNC or any store or pharmacy, wherever you want to go and it's plant-based, get the Bulgarian one, the Bulgarian Tribulus. I've used it many times, and a telltale sign, you'll notice it right away, by the way. If you take it the first day, by the next day, you'll feel it. A telltale sign of whether it's working or not. Uh, how do I put this without offending anyone? Uh, telltale sign is you'll feel that your libido increases. I'm not making this up. This is what it is. So you guys take some uh, Tribulus. I normally take one to two pills uh, a day. 
when I'm, especially when I'm training hard or when I'm feeling low or I'm feeling run down, so it's called tribulus, Bulgarian tribulus. Look it up, take it, it's going to help you recuperate. It's going to increase your testosterone levels naturally because as you know, as you age, your testosterone levels start to drop lower and lower, especially if you're not eating well. So try out the tribulus, let me know how it goes. Uh, so that's my message to you guys this morning. All right, so try it out uh, and I hope it works for you. Uh, I'm feeling much better, I'm back into the gym. I'm still on a maintenance mode, and I'll probably stay on a maintenance mode because I'm going for Hajj. Uh, I got a whole bunch of things coming up, so right now maintenance mode, just trying to maintain what we have, and then hopefully we're talking maybe November time frame. Hopefully we're going to try to hit it hard again. All right, guys, salam, take care, have a great day.